the language in which you think helps you holding manifesting powerful cognitions so the language in which you think plays a major role in your enlightenment i am not saying if you don't think in sanskrit you won't get enlightened i am only saying if you start thinking in sanskrit enlightenment is too easy power manifestation is too easy that's all i am saying there's a hatred for sanskrit in bloody dash 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 you feel it you feel all these dash with all the worst dirty words you know and you can google and feel it i want all my disciples to know sanskrit is the spoken thinking language of kailasa sanskrit is the cognition language of kailasa not only the kailasa my physical body is there the kailasa maha kailasa itself sanskrit is the language of cognition so listen this is one of the powerful mahavakya i received from annamalai swami gad this is i should say that from the ramana sampradaya the tradition ecosystem of bhagwan sri ramana maharishi very casually he put this in me deham naham koham soham like how in the schools you learn ba ba black sheep see the rhymes you learn plays a major role in your thinking don't think rhymes are just funny this is the most beautiful rhyme for enlightenment i learned deham naham koham soham deham means body naham i am not then koham who am i soham parama shiva is me i can say that i just can build full fledged temple for annamalai swami gal just putting this one rhyme inside my head even while i walk to the restroom in the schools they will give a interval break 10 minutes you have to run to the restroom and come back even while running to the restroom i will sing this only deham naham koham soham ninikka ninikka ninjurudhi annamalayane un mannin mahimayo kaatrin tirubayo listen the rhymes you cherish inside you matters the words you cherish inside you matters the words you cherish inside you for 6 months will become reality within a year at least it will become like a eco chamber for you echo eco chamber for you around you this rhymes this great beings have put inside my head so casually 
I started going to Annamalai Swami because he will give that candy and all that for the kids. Whoever brings to have his darshan, candy and other sweet, he will give it to all those kids. Very casually, he put those, these great truths inside my head. If you know little Sanskrit, you will understand this four word is the essence of whole Hinduism. Deham means body. Naham, not my core, me. Me, me. Deham is mine, but not me. Naham, Koham, then who am I? Soham, Paramashiva. Even when I am running to the washroom, from the class to the washroom, I will try to run. Deham naham koham soham, deham naham koham soham, deham naham koham soham. And run. Finish. Run back. Deham naham koham soham, deham naham koham soham. This constantly going on with this created a kind of an eco chamber around me. I tell you, I did not go to some great monastery, live in Vedantic atmosphere. Just that Thiruvannamalai, I am a mere boy from village, Thiruvannamalai. Running from classroom to washroom, I'll be chanting this, Koham Naham, Deham Naham, Koham Soham, Deham Naham, Koham Soham. I tell you, the language which is put inside you, which becomes programming of your natural relaxed state of existence, plays a major role in your manifestation of life, relaxed, deepest core existence of you, the words it's, it cherishes is the blueprint of your life. Around the age of seven, eight, running to the school restroom. I am singing Teham Naham Oham Soham. It's like a rhyme. It's not that I understood immediately when I heard from him. When I started mapping it more and more, and when it started sinking more and more, 